Sunday. It's Sunday today. And we're at Fletcher, Fletcher Moss Botanical Gardens. It's definitely worth checking out if you like greenery, lots of nice trees. I would highly recommend it. Morning, happy Monday. Um, today is the bank holiday because the queen died. So I have a bit more time on my hands and I am going to go to that yoga session that I've been wanting to go to. It's starting in three minutes, so I have to rush. Look at this. My babies are blooming. He's so pretty. <laughs> There's some that are dying though, to be fair. This one. I used one of those drink making cup thingies to put in my flowers. I think it works because I didn't buy a vase. Um, it's Tuesday today and I am on my way to another viewing. I just picked up this thing. I actually got it on Saturday from a from the feel good club i got it on saturday from the feel good club and it says i can handle whatever today brings yeah i can handle whatever today brings i think it's a great affirmation and i totally can it, it goes in line with the word that says i can do all things through christ who gives me strength so yeah let us tackle this tuesday Good morning. Today is <clears throat> today is Wednesday and I just started work. I'm actually feeling really tired. Um yesterday I I went to my viewing. It was actually quite interesting, like very disorganized, but um from what I gather that's just how things go with the rental market. The lady that was showing us around, she came late. And when I say us, I mean a group of us because there ended up being about four other people who were viewing the same apartment, which is strange because usually when I go, they put you into a slot. Um, so then you'll view, the, you'll view the apartment on your own and then the next person will come. But yesterday, there ended up being four of us. The apartment was great. Um, I quite like it. It's furnished. It's close to city center, um, but it's not like in the middle of everything and i did put in an offer but obviously now we all put in an offer for the same apartment so i'm just crossing fingers the lady said it's gonna take about four days no she said two days so i'm patiently waiting for that and yeah i have another viewing today and i think i'm gonna take the day tomorrow to just kind of like do a, a few more viewings um but yeah, hopefully I find something. I'm having my breakfast. I am having that Linda McCarthy sausage. I think by by the end of everything, I'm going to be so done with Linda McCarthy sausages. <laughs> and then I'm having an egg and spinach. Spinach wilts so much. Like, you put in this much, it comes out as this much. Talk about empty promises. Um, and... I've got broccoli and yeah looks very nice um yeah so today that is what's happening let's see how it goes i am feeling tired What a clumsy day. <laughs> uh, I had a viewing and I went there. Uh, yeah, the usual. And then 
on my way back i was feeling really low and i decided to stop somewhere for a tea and then as i was sitting there the landlord from yesterday's place called me not the landlord the agent from yesterday's place called me and she said i have bad news for you and i was like oh no and then she said i got the place and i was like oh my gosh i was so happy because i think that the whole getting finding a place to stay thing was actually just really starting to stress me out now um but yeah i think i have now managed to secure a place to stay it's just that the referencing process takes a little bit of time and yeah so i had to come back and then fill in the documents that she asked for and yeah hopefully that gets sorted within a couple of days and i am good to move um i need to go to the gym because i need to let out some stress <laughs> and then come back and potentially do some work that i was meant to do during office hours because i was just up and down and my mind was all over the place but yeah um let me go and do that <music> My current dilemma is whether to leave this house in search for food or to just ignore my hunger levels. <laughs> okay, that's not an option. Or to just order. Um, there's a restaurant downstairs. It's raining outside, like it's pouring and yeah, classic Manchester weather. But I need to eat and I've run out of food. I don't know. Like, you, you know when you just like... I don't know this working from home business you just end up eating the whole day but anyway um i've finished my food now and i need i need something to eat so i think i'm just gonna go downstairs and get food um there's a restaurant downstairs and a coffee shop i think the coffee shop is closed now so i think i might go to the restaurant and hopefully they have something nice that's vegan ah <sighs> but yeah I think I'll cut her. Like the weekend can come now. I'm ready. I ended up deciding not to leave the house and I got a burger at the restaurant downstairs and it actually looks nice. It is a beetroot burger. I don't think the back the patty is beetroot though. But yeah, it looks good. <music> it's saturday and i am moving house again as you can see i just finished packing my accommodation was booked for three weeks and it's now come to an end um so i'm moving house and yeah it's tiring actually <laughs> but yeah i am almost done i just need to book an uber and leave because they're gonna kick me out i think i've been i was supposed to be out at 11 it's now half past 11 and hopefully there's no additional charge but they should allow some leeway i hope uh, but yeah i also need to have something to eat because i'm starved um and yeah it's been a great stay <music> Sunday today and I just started at a new gym because I moved house and this gym has so much more stuff it's got three levels um, and yeah it's got three levels and a whole bunch of machines and resistance is back because where I was staying before the machines didn't have resistance um, the only thing is it is the one in CBD so like city center so I think it gets full during the week but sunday and it's quite empty this is third level so, um yeah i'll show you around just now it's church o'clock and i'm walking past this really nice what's it called up here um i just came from gym i actually showered at the gym and i'm just gonna go past church i'm attending the 12 o'clock service 
it's a bit of a walk but it's quite nice out like the weather's gloomy as usual but it's not it's not too bad another thing i forgot a top so i bought jeans but i forgot a top so now i showered but i'm still wearing my gym top yo i know but we need to go to church man let me find my way my battery is also really low so i'm risking it all <laughs> also i need to grab a snack before i go to church because otherwise i'm just gonna be thinking about food the whole time i've been wanting to go on one of these things um maybe i'll try it out after church i think you need your license though from the last time that i tried it uh, i think you need your license but i can't but i can't seem to balance on it it's just so frustrating um yeah maybe i'll try it so i've just gone past sainsbury's and i got these two things this is uh what is it sweet potato bajia um and it's served these they should sustain me and then i've also got nifty nibs so yeah i am starting to run late again i made it i used the back entrance my sense of direction is so terrible <laughs> my eyebrows threaded at this marketplace in the shop what's this shopping center called again i'll tell you once i know um but yeah there's a market by aldi if you stay in manchester that you can do your eyebrows at i do think they always mess up the size whereas in durban i last done it in pavilion and the lady had done it so well and she only charged 20 rand which was amazing like 20 rand and it lasted me a full three weeks so yeah hopefully we just always hope for the best but it's a decent job mm, i think she charged charged like six pounds which is reasonable i'd say also do excuse me i'm always chewing gum and i know it's rude and i'm a really terrible chewer of gum like my jaws just go but I'll try and chew in a more civil way. You keep talking that mess, that's fine. Could you walk into 